There are certain things in life that I'll never quite understand. I think curly fries is probably the t at the top of my list. I know that I could easily just Google and research how curly fries are made, but they're still baffling to me. My brain can't quite comprehend how fries or how potatoes could be twisted in that way. I've always thought there's just some random dude in the background using like a, a hair curling iron or something like that. Like I said, I know it's easy in today's modern day age to just have the answers to everything, but I just like a little bit of mystery. Well, today's video is somewhat of a mystery because I'm trying to figure out why some of these figures exist at all or in some cases why they're going for the prices that they're being offered at so i kind of just wanted to make this video give you guys a heads up on what's upcoming what's up for pre-order and then just random stuff just kind of random thoughts that i had regarding some of the new merchandise being announced in this particular case i'm mostly going to be talking about mcfarland toys and not just the dc multiverse line because they announced today or at least something went up today or earlier yesterday i'm assuming sometime within the last 48 hours they announced that there will be a new doom slayer action figure i'm very fond of this particular line i did grow up playing the video game franchise and even though i am a huge fan i decided for the sake of my bank account and my wallet to steer clear of the entire franchise however they are offering a new doom slayer amazon exclusive action figure it's basically the exact same action figure the exact same body mold i should say that we've been receiving featuring the doom slayer it just looks like this is going to be a glow in the dark version of that aside from that it does come with the extended arm blade the shotgun and also a stand for the action figure itself and then the card and the card stand so it's kind of like a collector's edition style action figure release very reminiscent of like the dc multiverse line that does something similar now i've always defended mcfarlane on this front i do believe that most manufacturers tend to do this from time to time they'll release slightly different repaints or you know sometimes just slap a, a retro carded packaging on it and re-release an action figure i think if it's done well enough if the market is thirsting for that particular figure that's probably the wrong word to use but you get what i'm saying let's say if it's for example if they decide to re-release the retro carded spider-man which is worth well over a hundred dollars or if they decide to re-release a retro carded green goblin for example example that's another perfect opportunity that i think uh, the the company has to take advantage of so i have no issues with that uh, particularly uh, the doom slayer i think the original figure has gone up quite a bit in price so if they decide to re-release alternate versions of that character i think it's perfect for mcfarlane the only issue that i have with this is the 30 dollars price point you're only really paying for the glow in the dark effect and that's really about it there's not much more to this figure i was reading the description and it seems like this is going to be some sort of like special doom franchise packaging but at least in the promotional images or the pre-order images on amazon we did not actually get a look at the actual box that the figure is going to come in but that seems to be the only real advantages to buying this rather than the other iterations of this character. So I'm baffled at the price point. I know it's probably just because it's an Amazon exclusive, but I think it's pretty shady. As I've said before, at least when they do like a big bad toy store repaint or an entertainment earth repaint, it's usually like a completely new color scheme. It looks like the figure came completely out of it, like a comic book page. And then on top of that, they added the fact that this is usually like limited to a very specific amount of action figures. Usually it's anywhere from like three to 7,000, depending on the character and how many the OM wanted to order from McFarlane. And so there's added value to it, knowing that there's only going to be a certain few manufactured. But upon reading the description on the Amazon website, it doesn't seem like that's an issue here or a feature that would make you want to buy the figure. Not that limited availability should ever affect your personal wallet, 
but you can kind of understand where there's only going to be a limited amount of something it's usually going to be a little bit more expensive but that's just my personal take let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this figure do you guys plan on picking it up or are you guys gonna skip it all together let me know down below now let's get straight into the other reveals or other pre-orders that have gone up in the last couple of weeks the other really big figure that caught my eye was the black light gold label mr freeze entertainment earth exclusive action figure yes i did that all in one take and i almost ran out of breath midway through that phrase but yeah we are getting it's the exact same body mold just with a different repaint what's really interesting about this figure and you can really tell the difference in value yes it is a hundred percent of repaint just like the doom slayer action figure but this one actually comes with some sort of like light up base uh, or, or two little like headlight lamps or, or spotlight lamps that point at the figure and really allow it to have the black light effect really just kind of pop out even more and it's going to display incredibly well not to mention it is a very limited figure there will only be about 7300 of these made it's slightly higher than what we've usually seen from like entertainment earth exclusives from mcfarland but it's still a very limited figure i think as time goes by it will become even harder to find and just gained value as i said most collectors don't really care about that but there is something special about having a limited edition a collection or a collectible one in this particular case i think it's well worth the money the last figure that i wanted to touch on a little bit was the new nightwing nightfall action figure it's really nice when mcfarlane uh finishes off entire waves or entire universes or continues to add to them at least because for the most part he tends to give us one figure and then wait a few more months to give us a few others but he's consistently giving us uh figures from this universe we've already gotten the nightfall batman bane and now we get nightwing and i think we're inching closer to more characters from this particular storyline however this is a phenomenal body mold i think i've mentioned this on a couple of occasions this is definitely a lot of reuse in terms of the body mold but great articulation you get those double jointed knees double jointed uh, elbows solid neck articulation and then the toe articulation really helps out and i know people absolutely hate that pelvic soft goods plastic around that area but i actually really like it i think it helps a lot with articulation doesn't look great displayed in just a normal generic stance but if you get him into some really cool uh, poses it's going to help out a lot rather than having hard plastic which would really limit the articulation and the posability for each particular figure he also comes with a decent array of different hands you're looking at six total and still going for that regular mcfarlane rate at 19.99 i definitely feel like there's a lot of value when it comes to this nightwing 20 dollars for a fully articulated seven inch action figure with six hands total i think that's an absolute bargain considering the way that these oms have been operating recently but as i said i think the last two figures on today's video are definitely worth it they have a lot of value to add to your display and hopefully you guys are able to acquire them and they don't sell out before uh, the video goes live. But there you have it. I just wanted to give you guys my quick thoughts, my quick perspective on these announcements because they are pretty big uh, in the grand scheme of things. They add new characters to an already ever-growing uh, universe. So let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think. Uh, do you guys agree, disagree with me? I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say. And uh, hopefully you guys are able to, like I said, reach the pre-order window before it closes. So stay tuned. We have a lot more content coming at you guys. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.